Hey everybody, so the um, the rumor that we were talking about yesterday with Robert Kennedy dropping out of the race and endorsing Trump has become an official story. Uh, he had a rally today in Arizona where he officially said that he is suspending his campaign. Um, he is going to endorse Donald Trump. And of course the reason he's doing this is because the Democratic Party, the extremely corrupt Democratic Party, has decided to sue him so much and so often and so many uh, for so many dollars that it's going to cost too much money and it's going to just take up way too much time to continue. So, his only way of really not I'm not saying he's being petty about it cuz I don't think he is. I think that he legitimately wants to do the best thing for the country. And if it's Trump or Harris, and if the Democrats are going to rig the primaries and if they're going to sue everyone who's a serious independent candidate, they don't deserve to win, first of all, right? They're, they're, supposedly, they're supposed to be the party of democracy, right? How many times have the Democrats gone on and on and on about how democracy is on the ballot and then they appointed Kamala Harris and you haven't heard them say it once? Or maybe they, someone said at the DNC, I didn't, I'm not listening to that garbage, but they don't say it over and over again like they used to like on, on the media, right? Like that, that's my point. They're not really talking about that ever since that happened because... If you say democracy is on the ballot, where who voted for Kamala Harris? Nobody. So right there, you're, you're full of it. You rigged the primaries. And then when Robert Kennedy started actually doing the impossible, I, I'll be honest with you, I thought it was impossible too. When he started his uh, independent campaign and he had to get all these signatures and all these states and all this money, I was like, I don't think he's going to be able to make it. But he did. He proved everybody wrong. And the Democrats, who of course see him as a threat, decided, okay, well, I guess we have to play dirty then, and we're going to sue him over and over and over again in every big state for all this money, costing all this time as well, and it's just, it's he can't, he knows he can't get past it. The Democrats are the party of Wall Street. They're incredibly, incredibly rich. They'll spend hundreds of millions of dollars if they had to do it to keep him off the ballot. So, okay, stick it up your ass, Democrats. And Robert Kennedy is now endorsing Trump. And I think that if you are a Robert Kennedy supporter, not that you have to do this enthusiastically or like Donald Trump, but you should endorse him because Robert Kennedy has a chance to get into that cabinet and actually do something as like a health director and, you know, achieve his number one goal of reversing the health epidemic that we're having, or the chronic health epidemic that we are having in the United States and here in Canada too. The Democrats would never ever allow anyone to do that, including Robert Kennedy. I hope that Donald Trump has learned his lesson from the last time. Instead of hiring a bunch of swap monsters to fill up his cabinet, he hires people like Robert Kennedy. Tulsi Gabbard, who was just put on a terror watch list from the Democrats. Like, how, how awful are they? Everyone who doesn't like them or criticizes them, they just attack them. Whether it be through the DOJ, or whether it be through suing them to get off the ballot, or putting them on some... And terror. Tulsi Gabbard served in the military. Helped save people. Like she, I believe she was a medical nurse. So she helped save people's lives. And this is what they're doing to her. These people are disgusting. And by these people, of course, I'm talking about Democrats. All across the board. They're all sick fucking people. Who clearly won't, will do anything to hold on to power. I'm not supporting that. Never. I don't want to support Donald Trump. But if he... If he suggests that Robert Kennedy, I, th I think Robert Kennedy is on stage with Trump right now, or it just happened, so I'll be tuning into that after this, but, you know, if if Donald Trump learns from his le his mistakes last time and in puts Robert Kennedy into a position in his cabinet where he can make a difference, incredibly smart move. He should be making that announcement tonight sometime. Hopefully he does. Because that would just, that would get a lot of independent voters who are like, okay, Robert Kennedy's gone, well, I guess I'll go Democrat. They might say, oh, but Robert Kennedy's going to be involved in Donald Trump's campaign or involved in his cabinet as a hire. Okay, I'll, I'll take that over the Democrats. And they'll, like, you know what I mean? Like, the Democrats essentially just gave Donald Trump millions and maybe tens of millions of votes. Probably not tens of millions. I think that there's going to be a lot of people who stay home now. There are a lot of people, and I understand completely. I'm not criticizing this at all. But there are a lot of people who said, hey, if Robert Kennedy drops out, I'm out too. Fair enough. I thought the same way. But because the Democrats deserve to lose so much more, 
yes, I'm going to support Donald Trump. Not support him by buying, uh, by, uh, buying a bunch of MAGA hats or, or doing this enthusiastically. You probably won't see me make any more videos about American politics, at least for the next while, unless there's some major news about Robert Kennedy. Um, I'm not going to be making videos supporting Donald Trump. I don't like Donald Trump. I hate the Democrats, though. So, I'll take someone I don't like over someone I hate, or a party of people that I hate. It sucks. There's a lot of people, a lot of volunteers who did a lot of work to try to get Robert Kennedy on the ballot. They succeeded. And for those people who are upset at Robert Kennedy, I understand, just remember, he's not dropping out because he's a coward or because he just, well, I don't think I can win now. He's dropping out because the Democrats are making it impossible. They're suing him off the ballot. They're, they're saying, we don't want you to vote for him. We don't want you as an American to have a choice. They deserve to lose, and they need to get it stuck in their ass. Now, let me know what you guys think in the comment section about all this. I know this is kind of crazy. It's been kind of a wild week for these kind of rumors. Um, but please, let me know what you think. Do you now endorse Donald Trump just like Robert Kennedy? Uh, please let me know what you think. I always enjoy reading those comments. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps grow the channel. Uh, thanks so much again for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.